We're going to have to have this out. Have what out? I have loved you since I've known you and I can't help it, even though I've tried. Sorry, I don't want to have this conversation. I know you don't, but I've tried to show you how I feel, but you refuse to see it. So now I'm going to make you hear it and give me an answer. Joe! I don't want you to be unhappy, Laurie. I went away so you wouldn't be. It was no use. I spent the entire time trying to change myself into someone good enough for you to love. You are good enough. You've always been good enough. It's just I can't love you in the way that you want me to. I've tried. And I won't lie and say that I love you like that when I don't. Have you really, truly tried? Really, truly. I'm sorry. I'm so desperately sorry. I'd kill myself if I thought it would help. Oh, in what way would that help, Joe? I don't know. It'd be easier than making myself love you like that when I don't. That can't be good. Have to some people manage it. I don't believe in that sort of love and I don't intend to try. I have something to tell you. It's about that old man. I'd rather not marry. What old man? That professor you're always writing home about. Professor Bear? We have friends, Laurie. We talk Go about plays and literature. Go to philosophical symposiums together. We went to one philosophical symposium. You say you love him. I'll be the one who kills myself. I haven't the least idea of loving Professor Bear or anybody else. Will in the end. And so will you in the end. I'll never love anyone but you. Lori, be sensible. Be sensible? I can't be sensible, Joe. I don't believe you have any heart at all. I wish I hadn't. <laughs>